With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. How many alpha and beta particles are emitted when uranium 238.92 decays to lead 206.82 pb? So you can write the decay process like this. So 92 uranium 238 decays to lead that is 82 2.06 plus some alpha and some beta particles. You have to find how many alpha and how many beta particles are emitted. So here uh, see uh, there is you can observe that there is a change in the value of z as well as in the values of a right there is a change in the mass number as well as in the atomic number so let's write first the change in the mass number so change in mass is how much see it was initially 238 and now it had become 206 so how much it has become it has become 32 so 32 units has been changed it means that one alpha particle corresponds to what? 2 He4, right? One alpha particle means it is 2 He4. So you can see here, one alpha particle has 4 mass number. So you have 32 here. So how many mass number you get? So 32 by 4 is 8. So you can see that as 8 alpha particles are emitted. So, in this situation, since there are 32 mass number difference you have, it means that 8 alpha particles are emitted. Now, with the emission of 8 alpha particles, not only the mass number has changed with respect to the alpha particle, there will be change in the atomic number also because see, you have 2 here. So, since you have uh, 2 in the mass, sorry, atomic number, so see here, between 92 to uh, 30, 82 there is a 10 unit change now in this alpha particle you have 8 alpha particles no so each alpha particle has two um, atomic number so 8 alpha particles means 8 into 2 equals 16 so 16 will be already changed in the atomic number okay change in the atomic number atomic number change will be 16 units but see here, there is only 10 units, correct? So the new element would have the mass number, like you should have it like, you can say 92 was initially, minus 16 if you do, it would be 76 actually. But the final product PB has 82 here. See, it is 82, but actually it should be 76. Which means that there would have been an emission of alpha particles. So since this difference you have it, you can sure say that there is an emission of alpha particle. And how many alpha particles will be there? Between these two you will subtract. See, actually it should have been 76. Now it is 82. Which means change in atomic number will be 82 minus 76 how much it is it is 6 so this much 6 beta particles will be emitted okay beta particles means minus 1 right so it would compensate so 6 beta particles will be emitted and 8 alpha particles will be emitted so 8 alpha 6 beta so, 8 alpha and 6 beta option C will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.